live, local. This is Fox 12 Now. Hello, everyone. This is Fox 12 Now. Thank you for joining us today. I wanted to start off, though, that is a live shot from Lincoln City, Oregon, looking at the beach right there. And some lucky people are out there on that right now. It looks pretty incredible out there. So good luck to you if you are heading over there to the coast. And thank you, everybody, for joining us. Again, we are live here every weekday starting at 1 p.m. Pacific. And we are live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, our website, and our app. So lots of places to find us and the content after we air it as well. Uh, today, we are talking about something, well, that a lot of us have been talking about for a while, and that has to do with Boeing. In particular, their planes and some of the issues that we've been seeing. Of course, there was the door panel that came off of the Alaska Airlines flight over Portland. Um, but since then, there's been a number of different issues, whether it's panels falling off, a wheel falling off, and now a windshield cracking that we have seen, uh, that we've been reporting on, that we're, we're talking about. And right now, I wanted to bring on a, an aviations expert to talk about this and and just learn a little bit more about, is this something we should be concerned with? What's happening with Boeing? What does this mean for the future? If you're planning some flights, what should you be concerned with? All of that, we're gonna talk about it. Right now, joining us, we have Chad Kendall, an aviation professor and so much more from MSU Denver. And Chad, you know, really appreciate you joining us here uh, on the show to talk about this. Um, having your expertise is, is really, really important. I think, you know, to start off, um, let's just talk to the, to the basic question that's right there in the lower third. What's going on with Boeing planes? Thanks for having me again. Obviously, it's not been a good couple of weeks, uh, once again, for Boeing, and the optics have not been favorable for them, and really have not been favorable since 2018, when the unfortunate MAX accident happened uh, then and, and thereafter in 2019. Um, you know, Boeing's going through some pains right now, and rightfully so. And I, I think some of those pains are, are warranted from the scrutiny that needs to occur from the public from feds, and uh, some of it is just the fact that everybody is a news reporter now. Everybody carries a camera on the airplane. And so uh, if something occurs, whether that's Boeing fa Boeing's fault or not, it's going to be recorded, it's going to go live and viral on that. The fact right now is that there are thousands of Boeing aircraft that are in the air right now, traveling safely from one destination to another being uh, manned by professional flight crew members and cabin crew members that are keeping passengers safe. And those flights don't make the news. But when we have some incidents like these that have occurred recently, then here we are again talking about it. That's true. And, and that's something I wanted to be very cognizant of as well. Just the fact that, like you, like you mentioned, everybody has a camera. So we do find out about this more, and, and certainly there's been some instances. So some of this may be things that, that may be, um, I guess, and I'll ask you about that, are, are some of these instances that have happened, you know, whether it be with a panel um, or this, the cracked windshield, which was reported on earlier today, is that something that's fairly standard when it comes to airlines and airplanes? Uh, is that something that's, that's more frequent than maybe we realize? Mechanical issues happen. I mean, these, yeah. these are machines, and mechanical issues happen for... Uh, one of several reasons. It could be that it's reached a life-limited engineering uh, hourly part and has then failed. It could be a manufacturing part. I'll include human error on that as well. Um, and you know, other, other factors that are playing a role uh, now as far as weather and turbulence uh, and the stresses that happen on aircraft. Uh, so uh, again, mechanical issues do happen. I've faced a cracked windshield in 2006 on a flight and that's just from the fact that airplanes pressurize and depressurize uh, many times daily and uh, those things happen and so these crew members are are reacting to that in a professional manner and getting these airplanes down safely and from what i understand too just with the windshield in particular there's several layers on there is that correct there are several layers on those windows that is correct so a, a layer of a window may crack in which case it uh, is, uh, could cause the airplane to depressurize or may not cause the airplane to depressurize. But that's why there's several layers on those windows. And so you may have one pane that cracks and it does not cause a depressurization on an airplane. Um, when we talk about Boeing right now, as far as the, the safety procedures that are going on with them and the airlines in inspecting these planes, and you mentioned you know human error can happen as well, in addition to mechanical error. Um, is Boeing and the air are, is Boeing and the airlines are they doing a good job right now of following safety protocols and maybe changing some things since some of these incidents? 
We saw some positive safety changes after the 2018 and 2019 accidents that have occurred, some additional oversight from the FAA. But here's the, here's the thing that happens with safety, is that there needs to be a period where everything is evaluated, processes, quality control, operations in the airplane, you know, when, when I'm in the flight deck and I have an issue and we're on the ground, we debrief. We, we talk about what's occurred, and then we say, what do we need to change? Do communications need to change better? In this case, we're, we're talking about an aircraft manufacturer where we need to look at all of the processes. And, and I think Boeing has, has made some positive changes here recently. The FAA is overseeing uh, those changes, and, and rightfully so. And I don't say that uh, there could be more. There should be more if, if things are found out through these events that have occurred. And w with Boeing's standpoint right now, you know, you mentioned since 2018, have had some, some bad publicity for sure. Um, but, and some of these issues, some of them have been addressed. Do you feel like they're cooperating with the FAA in an appropriate manner right now in order to uh, really address these issues and uh, get the company, I guess, back on track to, to some extent? In my opinion, they're they're uh, complying with what they need to. They're they're bringing into light what needs to be brought into light during these investigations. Uh, obviously, we saw recently that they did not know who had worked on those uh, door plugs, uh, and there was no record of that. And so, as as these come to fruition, it's time for Boeing to be honest, to be attentive, to be uh, as transparent as possible, to overstate their unparalleled commitment to safety. And that unparalleled commitment to safety, not to uh, uh, to stakeholders, but more importantly, the stakeholders and those that are flying on their aircraft. You, you mentioned one thing earlier too, saying there are thousands of planes out there right now in the air and we're not gonna hear about any issues associated with any of them. Um, do you think that just as a regular person going to take a flight somewhere, that it's something that you should be concerned with as far as determining what kind of aircraft that you're going to be flying on? I don't think it's something to be concerned with. I mean, again, these airplanes are flying right now as we speak. Uh, I've personally flown on this aircraft uh, just in this past year and then will do so uh, a year from now. Um, I, I trust the process as an aviator. Um, there is... Uh, not only the process of the manufacturer and its responsibility, the process of the feds and the FAA and the NTSB and their responsibility, but the industry and the professionals that fly these aircraft every day that are looking over these aircraft, maintenance technicians, cabin crew members, flight crew members that are ultimately the ones that are making the decision to go or not go and uh, to stay, if there is a mechanical issue that needs to be addressed, that they are going to address those issues. Um, anything else that you think people should know about too, just in general, as, as we see the reports of these, these issues happening with the planes? I, I think that uh, the, the public should continue to do what it's doing, and that is to uh, bring into light issues that are occurring and I think that, uh, and I would hope to see positive response from Boeing. Uh, and I, I, I do not um, worry about flying on these airplanes as it is, and that uh, Boeing will make the changes that they, that they need to to ensure that it minimizes risk uh, through the operations process. With that, as far as the changes in working with FAA, is there any kind of a timeline expected to be um, for that, or is it going to be really more of an ongoing thing from now on as far as uh, analyzing their processes? When we have issues that occurred, like the door plug failure, you know, that that is in investigation right now. And as the NTSB and the FAA are looking at uh, that incident, as things come into light and changes need to occur, whether that be an emergency airworthiness directive that uh, the manufacturer and airlines need to comply with to make sure that things are are further improved, and we've seen that uh, as the NTSB has allowed airlines to uh, bring back into service those aircraft. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer to really get to the bottom of uh, that particular incident, and I, I don't expect a full report to come out until about 10 months from now, um, if not a little bit further. But uh, some of these other mechanical issues that we're seeing, like the 
the wheel and the, uh, uh, the front windscreen of the aircraft, um, you know, those things start to add up, and we, we need to see not only Boeing, but uh, the airlines react positive to, positively to these in order to make the appropriate changes to ensure that these airplanes are safe. Well, Chad, thank you very much for joining us. Really appreciate your time to talk about this and uh, and go over it. It's nice to have somebody you know, with expertise like this to, to explain it and walk through it. So generally speaking, from what I'm picking up from you, people shouldn't have concerns uh, necessarily about getting onto these planes, but if you see something, report it, bring it to light. Um, you know, as far as if there is something like that, if you see a cracked windshield or, or anything along those lines, I guess, yeah, let, let people know about that. But um, Chad, thank you very much. Yeah, like, a, like a much for joining us here today. Really appreciate you being here on Fox 12 Now. Thank you for having me. All right, and for everybody who's watching too, again, we are live here every weekday, so thank you very much for joining us. We start at 1 p.m. Pacific. Coming up here at 1.30 p.m., we're going to switch gears. We'll be talking to the University of Oregon about a partnership they have with L'Oreal. Yes, the cosmetics manufacturer, they partnered together to create artificial skin. And it's not just for testing cosmetics, but also could have huge medical ramifications as far as helping people out with skin grafts and a number of different things. We're going to talk to the lead uh, person on that project who's going to be joining us who created a 3D printing process for it. All that's coming up at 1.30 p.m., so stick around. You'll, you'll want to see us on there. Whatever platform you're on, you can, of course, join us right back here at 1.30 p.m. I do recommend downloading the app, the Fox 12 Oregon app on whatever device you have. Great way to watch the show. You'll get alerts. You can uh, tune into all of our old segments as well. So a good way to do that. But thank you for joining us here on this Monday. I'll talk to you in just a little bit.